I'm jumping around the living room of 10 Cedarwood Road to the sound of Glad to See You Go from the Ramones Leave Home. You gotta go, 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 goodbye. Glad to see you go, 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 go goodbye. It's 1978, the day of my 18th birthday. These songs are so simple, and yet they express a complexity that's way more relevant to my life than Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, which I've just finished, which took me three and a half weeks to read. This album takes only 29 minutes and 57 seconds. Songs so simple that even I can play them on guitar, and I can't play guitar. Songs so simple, even I might be able to write one. This would be some kind of personal revolution, the reverberations of which might be felt all the way upstairs to the empty room of my older brother Norman, or more importantly still, down the hallway to the kitchen where the dad is sitting, my dad, who wants to talk to me about getting a job. A job? A job is a thing where you do something you don't really like for eight hours a day, for five or six days a week, in return for money to help you to do the stuff on the weekend you want to do all the time. I know I would like to avoid work. I, I, I know that if I could do what I love, then I would never have to work a day in my life. But there's a problem. Even in my pimple teenage obnoxiousness, I know that this is unlikely if I'm not great at something. And I am not great at something. I am not great at anything. Well, I'm a pretty good mimic. My friend Reggie Manuel says the reason I ran off with his girlfriend Shona was all down to my Ian Paisley impression. I'm quite good at channeling the bellicose ranting of the Reverend Ian Paisley, leader of the Unionists in the North. No surrender! My Ian Paisley impression makes Shona laugh so much that I tell myself she is vulnerable to my advances. But I also know that I'm vulnerable to losing her to Keith, what's his face, because it's not enough just to be funny. You have to be smart as well, and I'm smart enough to know I'm not smart enough. It wasn't so long ago I was smart at school, but lately I can't concentrate on anything except girls and music. I'm smart enough to see a correlation. I can paint quite well, but not like my best friend Googie. I can write prose quite well, but not as well as that know-all from 50 year Neil McCormick, who writes for the school magazine. I've played with the idea of being a journalist, fantasized about being a foreign correspondent, reporting from war zones. But to be a journalist, you have to do well at exams, and I'm having problems with exams. Problems in being in school to sit them. And anyway, there's another war zone I'm involved in. In our street, at my house, in my head. Why go all the way to Timbuktu as a war correspondent? And there's so much good material under my bed. The fears and specters under my pillow. The reasons I sometimes don't want to get out of bed. I don't yet know that rock and roll, punk rock in particular, will prove my liberation. That it will end my occupation of my bed. Run, run. 